Another important property in Shatter Component is this decompose checkbox. As you can see, there is also a decompose uh, fragmentation tab. Uh, first, I will show you what means this fragmentation tab decompose. So uh, let's say you have you imported from some 3D package your object, and it has several meshes. So like this object, you can see this is just one mesh, and it has four uh, boxes. Um, so you put this object into your scene, and you want to simply detach all uh, meshes which are not connect with each other. So this is what you need to do. You just need to set here decompose and turn on this decompose checkbox and hit recommend. And well, that's it. You can now select every of your elements separately. Another uh, way to use this decompose is if you, let's say, use any other fragmentation tab, maybe Voronoi. And I will set here low amount of fragments, maybe maybe five. So if uh, if my decompose property is off, I fragment my object, and this is what I get. This is my one fragment. This is my second object. This is third, and fourth, and five. As you can see, even though they are not connected anyhow, this is still one object. Just one object. Uh, just like this one and like this one. So to prevent uh, such uh, fragments. Uh, you need to, to turn on this decompose checkbox. If I will fragment it now, I will see that every fragment is separated. So now instead of having five fragments, I got ten. But uh, I got them because uh, it also it fragmented this uh, mesh, but also it detached all the not all not connected uh, meshes from each other. So uh, this is how this decompose checkbox works, and uh, I guess now you know when you should use it. Well, uh, that's it with decompose, and thank you for watching.